Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and uh, another speed build. Uh, today we are building a sort of pastel themed apartment uh, and it's kind of, if I was going to live in an apartment this is what I would love for it to look like if I was, you know, wealthy enough to have unlimited money and to live in the fashion district of a city, which obviously isn't true at the moment, but sort of like my dream apartment if I didn't have to share it with anyone and I was totally in control of the decor. So it's very pink, it's very girly, but it, I think it's also a little modern. Um, I really like the combination of sort of white, grey and a sort of accent colour, so that's kind of the theme that I've gone for throughout the build. Um, there is a section where, uh, it's actually right on screen now, um, and it comes up again later, but the upstairs was just like not registering as a room and I had to switch out of my game, uh, you know, come out of it and then reload it um, and it worked fine, but it, it does switch from day to night so I just didn't notice <laughs> at that point that I had it on night, uh, so don't be alarmed, uh, suddenly halfway through, the video, halfway through the video it does switch to night, but I'd already put all the lights in the room, so it's not too noticeable. But yeah, uh, this is the kitchen right now. Um, I sort of did this like row of wall cabinets and then an island in the center with the, the cooker on it and a breakfast bar. Uh, so I just thought it would be nice to sort of cook and then have like, you can stand cooking and looking out of those big windows at the skyline. I thought that would be really nice. Um, The only, I don't have much experience with sort of apartments like this. The only one I can think of is my mum's place. Um, but hers, the cooker is kind of behind these like big slidey glass doors. And it's just like, you're kind of trapped in the kitchen and you've got this like tiny window that you can't really see out of. And I think if I lived in an apartment, I had like a, a view because I was high up. I'd want something a bit more open. So I've done quite an open kitchen. It's quite modern. Um. I put a bit of artwork, I wanted to tie in the sort of pink a bit more other than just having the wall be pink. And then uh, for the dining room, uh, I think I kept it, the furniture is pretty muted so it's the nice glass table and I, I was toying with the idea of a pink rug but I think in the end yeah, I go for that grey one. And yeah I don't put a big rug in the kitchen, I just put like a little doormat rug that grey because I thought the pink ones were a bit too overpowering. Um, I don't actually, yeah I went for grey dining chairs as well and then the, I think I put some, a vase and that vase with the twigs coming out of it. Uh, yeah I added in the blue light as well just to tie in the blue because you've got the blue from that painting as well and then when we go into the living room there's a lot of blue there. I gave all the rooms in this house glass doors because it is designed for just one sim so you know you're not too concerned with people looking in. Um, obviously that's a bold choice and if you wanted to download this and maybe turn the office area into another bedroom then you'd obviously be more than welcome to change the doors especially to the bathroom to one that's not made of glass but I thought it was quite a nice touch. Um, I went for this slightly purpley pink colour in here, I think. Yeah, and then I put a sort of accent wall of that Art Deco wallpaper, which I really like. Um, I did struggle to choose sofas. There's no really nice modern ones that are light pink. That one was just, it was too bright. Um, so I just went for sort of black and white. I mean, that one is blue at the moment but I'm pretty sure I changed that once I realised that there's that weird green stripe so the green just didn't go. I kept the TV pretty small, um, I thought the big one kind of took up too much room and I wanted to do some little plants um, throughout the room. I did toy with putting like a keyboard or something in the corner but I ended up just putting a little bookshelf and another chair because why not? And I'm still loving the square coffee table, so I, of course, put that in. But yeah, that's the living room pretty much pretty much done. Uh, I do love that little, uh, what's it called, the 
Well, the end table. <laughs> it's so hard to think of words sometimes, but I do love that end table. That's um like the little suitcases. I just think it's so cute and unique. And there's not a lot of unique stuff in The Sims. So yeah. Uh, oh yes, I used the sort of floral print chair, which I wish came in like a, a muted pink. It does look like cherry blossoms. I just think it would look so nice. I did have a lot of fun with this balcony. I sort of put like a little seating area and then you'll see I just put like a ton of the little, this little candle and then a few of the um, the city living one with the, that looks like a flower. I just put like loads of those in like various colours and sizes. I thought it looked really cute. Um, I, I love doing that. I did that in my uh, Desert Dream House build as well. I just think it, it looks so cute and you don't get a lot of light from those so... It, it makes it a bit nicer. I was having so much trouble as well with these tables, like, I'm guessing that one isn't actually a dining table, but I could have sworn one of them was, so in the end I switch it for the, the wooden one, just use the white one. I did not put so many lights or decoration in this area. I'm thinking I should have added a plant, but oh well. At least it's not super cluttered until the clutter on the balcony is down one side. Ah, this is almost the part where it sort of was glitching out and it, I initially had that wall that was like sort of a gallery overlooking but I decided to change and here's the script so yeah when I started my game back up I uh, forgot to hit record right away so yeah but I basically added you come up to this sort of little seating area with a desk and then there's the bathroom and the bedroom off of it. So there's definitely room here if you wanted to add in like a smaller bedroom. Like, But for now I think it, it's a really nice space. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing like just accent walls in this place. So like there's that pot, random blue wall. And then I continued this sort of concrete print that I've used on the right hand wall wall in the kitchen and dining room and I used it also on the right hand wall on this landing to sort of add some continuity. Uh, I thought this bathroom looks really chic um, with the, the blues and then the, the light wood and the white. I thought it looked really nice um, but maybe that's just me. I'm loving that parenthood mirror as well, the long one with the little shelf. Um, I think I'm really glad that I invested in parenthood. Um, I'm a little broke at the moment, but I found the funds to buy it, so that was really good. Um, I think my voice is really quiet at the moment, so I should probably speak a bit louder. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, on to the little reading nook in a minute. Uh, oh yes, I did put that plant there. So it was like, maybe I don't want to put curtains. So I was like, well, if I put a plant there, then people can't really see past it. I do struggle like remembering which curtains are what size so I wish those city living ones came in like a version that was just slightly thinner and I struggled a little to think of where to put the um desk in this seating area uh, but I, in the end I was like it'd be really nice to sit at your desk and look out of that window so that's where I put it and yeah I put a sofa and I eventually put a little armchair there as well so I was like well you know it would be a cute place to sit if you did I mean if your sim was working from home you could have like a business meeting in this room and it wouldn't be super embarrassing that you can see into their bedroom which is maybe a bit of an oversight for me but yeah I use that weird pillar lamp from City Living because it comes in pink and so I've got the the wall that's blue and then the blue rug and then the purple chair so I just wanted to add in a few more accents of pastels um not too many I mean eventually I put that parenthood sort of hobby board because I think that really ties in with the colors and yeah we're into the bedroom now so in here I used that bed because I think out of all the pink ones it's probably my favourite and I did use that parenthood dresser that's got the like cherry blossoms on it because I thought it would just, it just fit perfectly with the theme of this build with the, the pastel theme and then I, there is I do put something in here that I think is like gold which doesn't really fit because everything else in the room is silver but 
I figure it's just one item and no one has stuff that matches perfectly even if it is your dream apartment and I did kind of want this to look like it had sort of been professionally interior designed I mean I, I don't claim to be an interior design professional at all but I wanted to feel that way uh yeah I really love the color that that mirror comes in and then I add in a big picture. I think that's actually pretty much the end of the build. So we're going to move into the screenshots. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.